What's up, Helix users? Steve Stolacci back for some more HX Command Center fun. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first video that I put out a couple days ago using the HX Command Center from the new 2.9, now 2.91 update. Um, I got a lot of questions, a lot of really nice feedback. So again, thank you guys for those who commented and uh, had nice things to say about it. I'm gonna structure this video a very similar way and I'm gonna answer some questions that I had. I got asked a lot of questions multiple times, so I wanted to cover those. Within the HX Command Center, you have a lot of customization that you can do. So one of the probably the most asked questions was if I can customize the color of my snapshots. Answer is yes, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I was also asked a couple of times if you could if you ran out of snapshots, could you still assign multiple things to a foot switch? That answer is yes. I'm going to show you how to do that. That's an older thing for the Helix, but a question that came up in this, so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's real simple. And also, you could change the color of your snapshot. So you can rename it whatever you want. You can also change the color. I'm going to show you how to do it in HX Edit. I'm also going to show you how to do it on the Helix. So if you have not already done so from the last video, please go to Custom Tone, download HX Snapshot off of my Custom Tone list. It's a preset that already has my command center set up. You'll see it on HX Edit when I pull it up on the screen. And everything is already laid out for you in the preset so that you could just follow along and, uh, and learn as I do it. This is a little different than the last one. Last time HX Snapshot 2 was blank, so it didn't have the command center functions. This is HX Snapshot Regular that has everything done. So all of the command center stuff is already implemented. I'm just gonna show you how to customize it and maybe do a little bit of tweaking with the foot switching capability. So let's go to HX Edit. I'll show you how to get this done. So first thing like before, again, we have our snapshots named here, right? Those are on your, those should be on your floorboard already if you have the, uh, if you have the rack unit with the floorboard or if you have the Helix floor, you'll see these on the floor. If you have the H, uh, if you have the LT, then you'll see them in the LT window. So first step window, command center. Now this is your basis for everything. If you are lost and this is your first time seeing this, please go check out my last video all about the HX Command Center and how I go about setting all this up. You could see, I'll put a card up here. So we have our Command Center foot switch one. And you'll see here, it's called HX Snapshot. So that's just the command. That's what you're telling the foot switch it is basically. And behavior, press release, that means that you press it and it goes to your snapshot. When you press it, where does it want to go? It wants to go to snapshot one, release, we have none. So here I have it, oh, it's already, let's turn that to off. Let's pretend that wasn't there. So you can hit customize right here. And now it says snapshot, but on your floorboard, it'll show you the name of the snapshot. So I'm assuming that the preset naming the snapshot is different from the command center naming of the snapshot. So do what you want with this one. I This just works fine for me. So you have your snapshot already made, it's already named, but the command center still sees it as just a snapshot. So we're gonna double click this, you have snapshot, and this is snapshot one, this is called fuzzy. So now there shouldn't be any change. You hit enter, and you'll see now the snapshot window goes away. If you look at your floorboard now, you'll see the snapshot and the little camera goes away and now it just says fuzzy. And now switch LED is right here and you can scroll through here and set this to whatever color you want. So if you're scrolling through this with me, you should be seeing your foot switch one changing color as you go. So since this is fuzzy, let's, let's make this yellow. Why not? And again, you don't have to hit done. It's just how I was doing it in the other video. So now say we want to do this again. We have snapshot two, and this is foot switch seven in command center. So command center still sees this as a snapshot. All we got to do is go to snapshot, double click it or just single click it, change the name. This is called clean. And now you'll see the snapshot window disappear and now it says clean. Clean, I think, I feel like turquoise is a clean color. What do you think about that? There we go, clean. So now your snapshot looks like a regular stomp box on your floorboard. Now this one, you can even do this for the preset. So if you're in your command center and you have a preset set, you can also label this. So 
on the preset that you're looking at if you have HX snapshot up. This is preset with an arrow bracket going up. You could name this anything you want. If this is a specific preset, you can name it that preset. Do whatever you want with this. So again, same thing. There's a customize right here. Instead of preset, I'm gonna name this up. Very simple. Up, I'm gonna change it to red. Now look at your floorboard. Oh, I changed them. I want this to be up. And now you should see your foot switch on your board now says up and it's red or whatever color you want to do with this. Again, please implement this into your own presets as you go. This is just to, uh, to teach you guys how to do it. So that's renaming and putting a custom color for your snapshots. You no longer have the little camera window for your snapshots. You can make them look just regu like regular stomp boxes in your command center. So while we are in HX edit over here, um, let's, let's go to done here. So if you look at the floorboard, it's totally full now. So what if when I do my reverb swap, if you're looking at your command, if you're looking at your floorboard with this preset up, I have a reverb swap in the bottom right foot switch. Reverb swap swaps the reverbs. What if when I go to the ambient reverb, I want the delay to turn on at the same time? Can I do it? And the answer is yes, this is really easy. So I have this delay here. I'm gonna right click, bypass assign. And now to help you find this, cause sometimes the foot switch numbers get a little confusing. I can go down to in foot switch 11 and it's already set to multiple. So let's see what happens here. Yep, it worked. Okay, so I just clicked on that button. You'll see now it says reverb swap and it changed the color to green, I guess, because of the delay. But now reverb swap, when you press it, swaps the reverbs and also turns the delay on. So if you have multiple things that you want one foot switch to do, it's as easy as that. You just right click, bypass assign, and go to that foot switch and you're there. And to customize that now, this took me like forever to learn to figure out because it's right in front of my face and I just never noticed it. You have edit here. But over here, you have bypass and controller assign. This is another way that you could do it. For your bypass here, you could select any of the foot switches. So instead of right clicking, going to bypass assign, you could just go right here to this tab. So you see for your foot switch assign it says multiple with a three in parentheses. That means that three pedals are being affected, two reverbs, one delay. And to get them to swap, like I do in this preset, all you do is just set them both to the foot switch and then manually bypass one. So it's literally as simple as that. You just assign it to the foot switch and then on your screen here, you have one lit, one not lit. If you put them both in, so now they'll both turn on and off at the same time. Once you switch them, now they're gonna swap. So when I tap here, you'll see the reverb swap. It might be easier to see that way. and you see that the reverb swaps and the delay turns on. How many parameters can we do with this? So let's say when you have the reverb swap, you have the ambient reverb, you have the delay on, and I also want to put on my dimension chorus. Let's see, bypass, okay? It says right now foot switch four. What if I want this to go to foot switch 11 with the others? Looks like it let me do it. And now this is gonna be, you can, instead of doing a snapshot, you're basically just assigning a bunch of things to one foot switch. If you're using all eight snapshots up and you don't wanna use a snapshot, this is another alternative. And let's now name this not ambient FC, ambient effects. So now when I push the button, Actually, okay, look, this is good. So now I have the ambient reverbs on, right? I have the reverb, which is my gonna be my ambient, and I have the delay on, so this will be my washi sound. And, but I want the dimension to turn on with these. So both of these are now active. I go to the dimension and I turn it on. Now that's telling all three of these to be on at the same time. When I turn it on, all there. When I turn it off, it's gonna sw switch to the 63, which is not the ambient reverb. So let's push the button. 
I should have moved my floorboard a little closer. But you can see now, all three of these are now turning on and swapping. This doesn't have to be a swap either. This could really be anything you want. If you want to just have a couple of things bypassed from one foot switch, a bunch of different pedals, you can even assign a drive. So let's say air apparent, we want to add this. We want to add this also. Put this on multiple four right now, foot switch 11, there's four things. Does that work? Yeah, it's there. And just make sure that you're turning these on with the ones that you want turned on because this could get a little messy. So yeah, that's just assigning as many things as you want to one foot switch. And that's how you do it in HX Edit. And if you want to change the name or color, you see the, the color goes automatically to the last thing that you put. Let's make it white. And there you go. Now it's white. Your ambient effects now turns on your delay and switches on a drive. So it makes ambient delay, reverb, dimension chorus, and a drive pedal all with one foot switch. So now let's go over to the actual Helix and I'll show you guys how to do it on the physical unit. All right, so here we are. We're back at the HX Snapshot. First, I want to reset this. Now I go to HX Snapshot. Okay, just reset everything. I'm in 8 Snapshot mode right now. Hit my mode. Now I'm in my Command Center area. So, a little bit different than the HX Edit version, but still just as easy. Let's say I want to customize my first snapshot. I want fuzzy to be named. I want the name to not have the snapshot there and I want to customize the color. So I'm going to soft tap, right? So all I did, no, not assigned. Now that see that short tap takes you to command center Hit home. Again, this is the quick tap takes you to command center and you see here, HX snapshot, press behavior, fuzzy release, none, right? customize when you hit customize it comes up as saying snapshot again so now we want to change this to say fuzzy because the command center sees it as a snapshot we want it to see it as fuzzy so now you have to manually do it this way and now your switch LED is right here so when you rename it the color is right there. So fuzzy, let's name fuzzy red. And now you see what it looks like here. This is now my snapshot. And you see that it's red. Now we want to change edge of breakup. You just tap it again, side tap. Here's your thing. Here's all your, here's your display for what it's doing. Customize. We're just going to call this edge. Actually, you know, let's call it EOB, edge of breakup. Delete the rest, switch color. Let's call edge of breakup blue. And now you see my EOB, edge of breakup snapshot, is right there. Now, same thing for preset. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So I suppose that the side tap only works on snapshots. So let's go manually with the encoder here. HX preset, customize, boom. And we want this to say up, nice and easy. Switch color, let's make this red. So red's gonna be up and now you'll see the Snapshots are all doing their same thing. Let's take a look at the amp settings where we notice the changes. Yep, so it appears that everything worked. Um, let's rename the clean just for practice sake. So quick, nope, don't hold the tap it because that'll assign something. It's a quick tap. All right, customize straight to it. Now this is clean. Make the clean blue. 
turquoise we said before, right? I think that's what we did before. Whatever. So now my clean snapshot is now turquoise. That easy. Now you have your three snapshots set to look like stomp boxes. So now let's talk about assigning multiple things to one foot switch. So what I was saying before with the HX edit version, I have my analog echo here, which turns on in my parallel path and my reverb swap that changes from the 63 spring to the plate reverb. So that swaps you from regular spring reverb to a more ambient plate reverb. What if when the plate reverb is on, I want to turn a delay on with one foot switch. Really easy to do. Make sure, first of all, that it's on. So let's say plate is on, so that's my ambient sound. And I want this analog echo to also turn on. So we're gonna get rid of this foot switch essentially. You just literally pull it up. Now you press hold. So I'm not clicking down, I'm just tapping. Assign foot switch, do I want it to, you want it to merge. Hit OK. And now reverb swap. Now swaps the delay. Now swaps the reverb and turns on the delay. You can go as crazy as you want with this. So while the reverb is on, while the ambient reverb is on, say I want, this is just for practice sake. Say I want the alpaca to also go on. I'm just gonna again, side tap and hold. Make sure that this is set to merge and hit OK. So now look, you'll see sometimes this will happen where you just don't have it lined up. I have the ambient delay and reverb on, but the pedal's turning off, right? So all you do is go up to it. All you do is go up to it here and just hit bypass. And now it's being told to turn on with those. So you see it turns off with the regular reverb. Once the ambient stuff turns on, the pedal turns on as well. Let's do one more just for practice sake. Let's say during this, you also want your dimension to kick on. Now, before I even say it, try and do it on your own without my help. Okay, if you didn't get it yet, we are just going to side tap and hold. Make sure this says merge. Okay. So now what happens? We push the switch. Okay, it's opposite again. So what do we do? Make sure everything else is on. Bypass, so everything is on together. And now we have plain reverb. Now that turns on the drive, ambient stuff, and the dimension. So that doesn't sound like a reverb swap anymore. So if I wanna rename this, I'm gonna touch and hold like this. Now customize. Instead of reverb swap, let's call this Call that a solo sound, just for fun. So now it says solo, right? So now when it's off, it's your regular tone. And say when you're soloing, you want all of that stuff to turn on. Bam, hit your solo button, everything turns on together. Again, ask questions as you go if you're lost during any of this, or just rewind it and again, follow along with me with the preset that you downloaded off Custom Tone. And doing something like this has its benefits because now it opens up two more slots instead of you having to do the tap dance and stepping on a bunch of things. Assigning multiple parameters to a foot switch is really, really flexible and really allows you to do a lot of different things with your Helix. So it's as easy as that to customize your HX command center and make your pedal board layout look exactly what you want it to look like color wise and make your foot switches say what you want it to say. The customization of this is ridiculous. It's so cool that we can literally make it say or do what anything we want and I'm just blown away by this. This is literally changing everything about how I gig. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you had any questions throughout this, please shoot me a message, drop me a comment, let me know what you guys want to know more about this. Hope you guys learned something today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.